Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Hope you're well. Today we are making some spicy chicken nachos. Oh my gosh, uh, it's using sriracha hot sauce. I've never used this before. I've literally only just tasted it off camera a moment ago and <clears throat> that does have a kick indeed. Um, we're coming up to my thousandth video recipe. Uh, so if you guys have got any ideas of what you want to see for that, let me know down below. But without further ado, we're going to start by marinating or rubbing, excuse the dance and face, uh, our chicken. Of course, with these nachos, which I keep wanting to call tacos, I probably will say that in the video, you can make them as spicy as you like today. So the sriracha is completely optional. Here is our chicken. Uh, first thing we're going to do, I sprinkle on some, this is smoked paprika. It's about a teaspoon of that. And I've got some uh, ready-made taco seasoning mix here. I'm gonna sprinkle on a lot more of that. That's a mixture of oregano, chili, and cumin. So you could just uh, use those separate powders if you like, but I just felt like being lazy today. And now we're gonna get our hands in there and rub it all in. Oh yeah, nice and coated. Make sure it's fully stained and tanned, like a person on a beach. Lovely jubbly, that's looking amazing. Let me go wash my hands and we'll cook this up. Alrighty, they're nice and clean. Uh, just to say, these are mini chicken fillets, so they will cook quicker. You could just use a chicken breast and like halve it and bash it up a bit. Let's do it. Alrighty, so a large frying pan over a medium flame, uh, drizzling a little bit of oil. Oh yeah. So let's just push that chicken in the pan. Just gonna start the sizzle up there nicely. So we wanna cook it all the way through, nice and white and coloured, then slightly charred as well with all that seasoning on there. We really wanna get some flavour in this pan. If you're happy with the colour of your chicken and your pan's quite hot, turn it right down because we still want to obviously cook it through. So keep it stirring over a low flame for another five minutes or so just to make sure we ain't got any raw chicken. Amazing. So let's just put that chicken on a board there just to rest. Now this pan, we're going to put it back on the heat. We're going to keep it off the flame for the moment, but we will use it again for the chicken flavours that are left in there. So I'm just putting that pan back over a low flame and there's loads of flavor from that chicken season still in the pan. What we're gonna do uh, is just get a tin of chopped tomatoes and just uh, splash that in there. That actually went everywhere. There's a huge splodge of tomato just off camera. And what we'll do as well is half fill, just in the background here, half fill the can with water. Just bring that in there because we're gonna simmer that off. And of course now the optional element of the hot sauce. So I'm gonna give a couple of good squeezes of that. It is gonna have a little bit of a kick, but as I say, that sauce is optional. All we're gonna do is bring it up to a simmer. You can also give it a season of salt and pepper if you wish. While that sauce is thickening up in the background, grab your cooked chicken, which is slightly cooled now, and just cut it up into rough chunks with your knife like that. So good. Mm. Oh my gosh, we just stop the recipe now. This is fine, this is fine. I've had a little change of heart, folks. What I'm going to do is push the chicken in uh, with this sauce, uh, like that. Get it really in there. Get it nice and coated, stirring it round. I was going to leave it separate so the chicken was one entity and the sauce was the hot spicy element, but now we're coating it in that sauce, getting all that flavour in there. And also the seasoning's going back in the sauce too. I'm loving that, folks. Check it out. It's still a teeny bit watery in there, but that's fine. As it simmers down and thickens up, these flavours are going to really concentrate. And then we can simply add them to our nachos. Now that is the texture that we're after. Still thick and wet, but nice and chunky. So I'm just arranging on a large baking tray a whole row of the nachos. Of course, you can uh, stack them if you like, but I'm just going for the whole sort of party platter thing of just one layer. So that's down one. Let's sprinkle a load of grated cheddar cheese on there. Your bits of uh, freshly chopped coriander. And these are some spring onions as well, aka scallions. And we just add in our chicken and tomato mixture all over the nachos, working up and down the pan, nice and evenly spread out. One last little sprinkling of cheese on top. All we're going to do now is put this in the oven to warm through our tortilla chips and of course melt all that cheese. It's been in the oven literally five minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh, the smell is incredible. Check that out. Looking good. Let's finish him off. So we'll just finish it off uh, with a little spread of sour cream on top. Oh my gosh, I want to dive in this. It's not a swimming pool, but I, you know what I mean. A little bit of guacamole in there as well, spreading that on. Oh, oh my gosh. I say so maybe a few more spring onions on top and also some of that extra chopped coriander. That, my friends, is so simple to make. Perfect party food, but it's a party for one right now. I'm still going to taste them. I'm pretty excited to try this. Here we go. Mm. 
Shiver me timbers, that is absolutely stonking. My mind is telling me no, but it's, my body's telling me yes. Yes, so, so good. The hot sauce in there, it was kind of mild, so I would add more if you want it nice and hot and spicy, but you can just taste it, so it's appealing. I'll probably add a little bit of lemon or lime on top next time, but absolutely gorgeous, especially served still warm. Uh, any other recipe suggestions, do let me know down below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, uh, follow me on social media for all the latest updates. See you again next time, and if you try these, send me a picture.